in trouble and you need someone to help you out there's no need to whistle and there's no need to shout hey 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 help is on its way call the koala brothers call the koala brothers call the koala brothers call the koala brothers help is on its way Sammy the shopkeeper loved his job. He loved the thought that whatever bits and pieces his outback friends needed, they could always get them from his shop. He just liked being helpful. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm? There, ready for business. Morning, Sammy. Oh, hello there, George. Anything I can get you this morning? Not right now, thanks, Sammy. I'm just going to sort the post and then... <laughs> Oh, oh, George, uh, are you all right? Oh, oh sure, Sammy. Uh, I reckon I'll be fine. Oh, that hurts a bit. Well, quite a lot, actually. Oh, uh, uh, come and sit over here a minute, George. Oh, that's a nasty swelling you've got there, George. Uh, I'd rest that ankle if I were you. Oh, but I can't. I have to do the post. What am I gonna do, Sammy? Hmm. Oh, oh, I, I think I've got the answer, George. Why don't you look after things here and I'll do your post round for you. Well, it's nice of you to offer, Sammy, but... Uh... Oh, don't worry, George. I do deliveries all the time. Well, you have to sort the post first. You just mind the shop. Don't worry, it'll be easy. Easy, eh? Yeah, right. Sammy left George to mind the shop while he got on with delivering George's post. <laughs> right, what have we here? One for Josie, one for Alice, another one for Alice. Alice, Alice, Alice. Oh, hiya, Frank. Hiya, Buster. Mitzi. Hiya, Sammy. Mitzi, what can I do for you? Uh, are we in the right shop, Sammy? Huh? Oh, I see you are expecting George. Well, he's twisted his ankle, so he's looking after the shop for me while I do his rounds for him. What can Sammy the postman do for you? Oh, I have a parcel for you to deliver to Alice. Right you are. Well, I'll put it with the rest of the post. Is there anything else? No, thanks, Sammy. I think we'll go and see how George is. Good idea, Frank. Bye, Sammy, and good luck with the post round. Yeah, good luck. Bye. Oh, boy. How does George manage to fit all the post into this little bag? Uh, all right. Time to do my round. So Sammy set off on his rounds, but in his hurry to get started, he left Alice's letters behind. Now then, who's first? Oh, Alice's cafe, I guess. But it wasn't quite as simple and straightforward as he thought it'd be. Ooh. Popped out back in five minutes. Oh dear, oh, I can't wait. I've got a whole round to do. I'll, I'll just leave it here. <laughs> oh! oh, 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 oh. Funny. Where are the labels to tell which one's for who? Um... Uh-oh. It looks like Sammy's getting himself into a bit of a muddle. <sighs> right. I think, uh, this is Alice's parcel. I'll, I'll just leave it here. She'll find it when she opens up. <laughs> Next step was Archie's place. Uh -oh, uh, oh, oh, oh. Well, good morning, Sammy. <laughs> I'm not expecting any groceries today, am I? Uh, no. George has twisted his ankle, so I'm the postman for the day. That's splendid! <laughs> so, um, eh, uh, eh, is there anything for me? Oh, yes, hang on a minute. Uh, one letter here and uh, one parcel. Uh, ah, uh, it hasn't got my name on it. 
Yes, uh, the label came off, but uh, don't worry, it's uh, it's this one, I'm sure it is. Uh, yes. Bye, Archie. Yes. Uh, goodbye, Sammy. <laughs> Tell Mr George, get well from me. <laughs> a little later, Sammy stopped for a cup of tea at George's favourite resting place. Oh, letters for Alice. I'm sure I saw them when the post came in, but I didn't have them when I got to the cafe. Um, I must have left them at the post office. Oh, no. What am I going to do? Ooh, well, this postman business isn't as easy as it looks. <laughs> it certainly wasn't. Sammy made his way to his last call. He had a parcel for Ned. Oh, this is so exciting. This must be the new model kit I was sent away for. I didn't order this. Oh, I'm sorry, Ned. This is all my fault. The labels got mixed up on the parcels. <laughs> that parcel must be the one that Archie was supposed to get. I say, Sammy. <laughs> so glad I caught you. Um, I think there's been a bit of a jolly old mix-up. I know, Archie, I know. Ned got your tennis balls instead. Ah. <gasps> so this must be Ned's... Cookery book? I didn't order that either. Oh, that recipe book must be Alice's parcel, so I've managed to give everyone the wrong mail. I've managed to make a mess of everything. Hey, you mustn't be hard on yourself, Sammy. It was a very kind thing you did to help George out. Oh, yes, but I just didn't realise what a lot of things you have to think about when you're a postman. Now I've let everybody down, especially George. I wouldn't be too sure of that, Sammy. Tell you what, Sammy, why don't we help you re-deliver the post? That way we can get it done in no time. Oh, that would be great, if it's not too much trouble. It's no trouble at all, Sammy. After all, we are here to help. So Frank and Buster set off to help Sammy deliver the post. There she is! Right out, Buster! <laughs> Hi, Lolly. We brought you a letter. Oh! While Frank and Buster were delivering the letters, Sammy went back to town to try and sort out the mix-up with the parcels. He gave Alice the parcel that was meant for her, and he gave Ned's parcel to Frank and Buster. Thanks, Frank. Finally, everyone had what they were supposed to have. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to say to George. I've made a real mess of being a postman, and he's probably run the shop like oh, clock... Oh, no! Ow! Clockwork. Oh, dear. Here we go again. Hi, George. How's the ankle? I can't talk now. I've got such a lot to do. I just... Oh, oh, Sammy, it's you. Oh, thank goodness you're back. It's been terrible. I, I couldn't work your scales and I gave Alice salt instead of sugar and where do you keep the breakfast cereals? I couldn't find them and, and I had no idea how difficult it was to run a shop. <laughs> what is it? What's funny? Oh, <laughs> it's just that <laughs> oh, I was a bit worried you'd run the shop better than me. And I've been worrying that you'd deliver the post faster than me. Trust me, George. I will never deliver post as well as you do. And now I see what a lot of skills you need to run a shop. I take my hat off to you, Postman George. Oh, and I take my hat off to you, Shopkeeper Sammy. Where do you keep the cereals? Just out of interest? <laughs> <laughs> the next day, Sammy was very happy to go back to what he did best of all. With a little help from the Koala Brothers, he'd learnt that everyone has something that they're really good at, even if they don't always make a big noise about it. <laughs> <laughs>